Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Duquesne Dukes and the BYU Cougars. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Cougars should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Next, be monsters on the boards. Don't be afraid to get tangled up. Crash the glass. Finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Working around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? The land. <laughs> Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Shows patience waiting for the reset. The power forward receives the pass. Scorches the net. Inside, the center receives the ball, using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball to the goal, strong. He keeps the dribble as they reset. They move it into the front court. He makes a nice shot fake. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Perfectly executed. The center takes the pass in the paint. Passed up and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. BYU have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I'll tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. The Dukes go to the line for the first time in this game. He hits the first. Both free throws go. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. High post screen. So effective that screen. They work the perimeter. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He's trying to pack it inside. He up fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you.
Gave it up. Dyer handles the pass. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Cardi handles the feed. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fed the low block. Phillips is emotionally fired up. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Sideline inbounds. He'll regroup the offense. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Inside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. And he'll kick it back outside. Cross court. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. There's the pick. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He hammers it home. Basic. On the dribble, gives it up. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Tickles a twine. They scored seven in a row. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Doesn't go. Fakes a jumper. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He tries a jump hook, and in and out. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Steal, nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Gave it up from the top of the circle. Drops it in from long range. Let's take a look at that last basket. Looking for a good shot. 
That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. Too many dribbles and a steal. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. Set that screen away. He takes the shot off the baseline. With the fake. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Phillips pounded on it, scores it, and he's fouled. So an and one opportunity here. The Cougars are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes the foul shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. up for two and he missed great swat hey it looks like he was swatting flies in the summertime that spin move not successful and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot the ball goes out of bounds he's got the man in the high post if he can get it there He puts up the three ball, way off target. Buries it. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. Pump fakes. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet. Fading away, impossible to block. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Fakes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. There was no doubt about that one. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Trying to draw some contact. That's good. <laughs> Tries for two. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. 
I said he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Defensively down there. I thought doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Kicked off. The kick out. Has a nice look in the basket. He attempts the trifecta. Nice shot. Double team now, bad angle. Robs him of the ball. They push it up on the break. You can't get away with that. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. They will line him up. Sinks it. Got them both. Step out on that screener. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. High post screen. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. On the outside. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. For two, they still don't score. He puts it in with contact and all. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the inside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The ball goes out of play. Takes the pass in the paint. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Mm -hmm. 
He throws it up from downtown. Not this time. Hey, Brown, a stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. For the bucket. I tell you, there's a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Got the high pick. He looks for three. Oh, yes. Show me that one again. He's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Stolen away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Goes. Phillips is encouraging the fans to keep cheering. He wants everyone up for the next possession. The skip pass is picked off. gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down. And he'll kick it back outside. He draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. High post flashes for the opportunity. Wide open for the shot. Unloads. Drains the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Erin. I tell you, Erin's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. He shoots from left of the circle, makes it. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Going to the line. 
Makes the shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. He shoots from the elbow. He hits the shot. And halftime, the Cougars lead by three. If you miss the play of the half, here's another look. BYU found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. He takes the three. Makes it. out of play. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. That's jubilation. Here's a flash from the post up high. Jumps in. Shivers makes the land. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Tries to get the D to bite. Tries for two. Rims out. Takes the pass in the paint. And he scores despite the half. Five-second call approaching. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Jumped in front to take it away. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Jam City, baby. That's a rib rocker. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. There's a double team waiting there. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He grabs the rebound. Dumping inside. Gave it up. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Those long arms trying to get in in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the dribble, gives it up, takes the shot. He gets that one to fall. Pick 
breaks off the lazy pass. They, the senior leader puts it in, plus one. He made a big basket right there at the right time, Brad. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. To the charity strike. He gets it to go. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Working it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. Nice high post screen. The point guard gets the ball. From left of the circle, he makes the shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Entry pass in the paint. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He comes away with it. Foul call. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Number 42 coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. It's good. There's the fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Price goes to the line for the first time. First one is good. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. And that's basic. In the paint for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Tries for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. The replay's not even enough for this one. He 
blocks the shot. Tell you, we've seen some great block shots. Teammates love it. They applaud. Gave it up. He unloads a three. The Dukes are up by four. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. The ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Takes away the pass. The crowd really admires this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Looking to move it around the perimeter. Harm and foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. No doubt about it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Makes the second. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He gets it to go. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. The point guard with the ball. Tan on the shot clock. Gets it to fall. Intercepted. Long down court pass. That one goes back from whence it came. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Great defense. On the dribble, gives it up. It's stolen. Transition opportunity coming up. Goes up for two. He gets that one to fall. Picks off the pass. Pushes it up. For two. Finger roll. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any open. Pressure in the basketball. He strips him clean. For the bucket. And he scores it off the glass. Moving it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. The power forward gets the pass. Gave it up. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Phillips 
Smith is trying to pump up the crowd. He wants the crowd excited for this offensive possession. Time to pick up the defense here now. And again, they look to run. Tries for two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Looking for a good shot. Good fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts up the tray. Great shot! They work the perimeter. The power forward takes the feed. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The small forward takes the pass. Tries for two. It's good. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He throws up the shot. Off the rim and no good. With a rejection. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Great shot block right there. He had some good movement on the offensive side. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from the top of the key. Drains it. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Don. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. Robs him of the ball. Whistle blown, basket's good, and one. That's concentration, baby. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. Free throw is good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. He fires away. He buries the shot. it fly. You bet. The Dukes are down by eight. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. the dribble gives it up 
He looks for the bomb. Rims out. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He puts up the tray. Dick, these guys are tearing it up from the three-point line. Give me more threes, please. I love watching these kids drop the trifecta. He goes to the line. Makes his first. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Second shot, no good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Flashes for the ball handler. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Dump it inside. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Takes away the pass. Now work it around the arc. Picked off. Momentary look from three-point land. He takes a three. Nope. He gets the shot to fall. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Gets it back out. There's the screen up on top. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Intercepted. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Got some room. Fires away. Off the rim and no good. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. On the outside, he puts up the tray. Rims out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There they come with a double team to stop it. He went right through that double team. Hey, let's see if they decide to double next time down. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great play to take that to the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. High 
high post flasher is open. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He launches the bomb. Sinks it. Inside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tan on the shot clock. Looking for a good shot. I think he's trying to upset him with the taunts, that's for sure. Brad, I'm not sure if I like that taunting. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Picks off the lazy pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, you've said it so many times. Survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. BYU came, they saw, and they conquered their first round foe, Dick. I tell you, Brown, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shift into gear for that second round matchup. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.